Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. The playgroup. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello, everyone. This is my new friend. Hello. Very good. Lovely. It will look great on Pepper's wall. It will look great on Pepper's wall. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Children! Today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess. Today is sports day. Whoa! What is sports day? Sports day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today, so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children, start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! Come on, children! Very good, Peppa. And your friend is very fast. One last effort. 
von Children, you're almost at the finish line. Congratulations! You all did a very good job! You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course! I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the tree is saying hello to us. Hello, Mr. Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. We go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Uh, why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Madam Gazelle, Madam Gazelle. 
Tiddle the tortoise is stuck in the tree. Oh no, poor Tiddles. We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. <coughs> oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? <coughs> there you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Now, Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. Woo! <laughs>